Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. I hope you all had a great trading week and uh, I'm looking forward for the upcoming week since we have uh, some news event to look up uh, to look for and we have some setups that have uh, been working nicely that we gonna follow up. So while I wrote the intro disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys as you see we do have um, a lot of major impact events uh, on the calendar for next week um, we start uh, on monday with uh, business confidence for new zealand cpi uh, on tuesday for the us we do have on wednesday official cash rate for new zealand new zealand and a press conference uh, also we have um, uh, from the uk the GDP quarter and quarter. We have Fetcher Powell speaking. Thursday, Aussie employment numbers, uh, annual budget release for New Zealand, uh, BOE Governor Bailey speech uh, for uh, the UK, unemployment uh, claims for the US and Governor um, BOC Governor Polos to speak. And we end the week on Friday with German prelim GDP quarter and quarter and the uh, core retail sales and the retail sales month on month for the US. So a lots of event, event to keep an eye at uh, next week. Um, if we look at the chart, starting with the Dixie, is uh, the Dixie chart, uh, guys, is a little bit weak uh, today because we've got um, this last um, one hour candle here looks uh, pretty suspicious because once again uh, the end of the week candles on the Dixie are not always good here on your uh, on trading view because if we look at your USD we see that uh, it did not actually give us uh, such a candle as we had on the Dixie so um, I'm not trusting that chart too much uh, for now or the la uh, at least the last candle so uh, the close is not below this previous low uh, the close should be somewhere here in any case um, since um, <coughs> the Dixie now uh, br uh, tested uh, monthly R1 and this uh, previous uh, important level of uh, uh, of interest here looking left uh, this area been uh, tested many times and I've been mentioning this level way too many times now in my overviews and yet again um, on Thursday, the market tested that monthly R1 and the le structure level. We ended up uh, getting a, after this uh, double top here, we ended up now having a lower high. And uh, <clears throat> I'm expecting the Dixie to continue to the downside and maybe test the monthly S1 uh, 200 moving average and this uh, previous uh, swing low here. So uh, that is what I'm looking for. Now, if this daily candle would really be like this, then we are already uh, on the way to do that. But uh since i'm not trusting this last candle i would say uh, you need to wait for uh, the open and see if we're gonna get the, the price back up here and see if we're gonna have a break below previous low below this um, candle that we got after the nfp if that would be the case and we get uh, a break below that looking for a correction and continuation any um uh, thing like that could signal continuation toward this previous low or toward a monthly s1 on the dollar okay uh, oil still um, inside uh, this uh, upper range now um, keep an eye on this range uh, the 20 the 29 up here and the 30 is still our um, resistance level and uh, the bottom of this little range is the support so as you see this level here is uh, a very important level um, as far as that is not broken we, we may still have rotation back to the downside on oil but if we see a break above it then there is a potential move toward uh, 42 uh, 50 on uh, on oil my expectations uh, is actually a possible break to the downside here a retest to this uh, previously broken structure uh, a retest to uh, the 20 ish area before any uh, bounce to the upside the 30 gonna be a very strong uh, resistance for now on oil uh, gold still inside the range as well we uh, I'm talking about this range guys so uh, at the moment we are uh, in the middle of the range and it could go both ways uh, very easily so do not um, 
I would not uh, play anything here because it could go like this and it could go down pretty easily without much trouble because this is a chopping uh, chop area as you see very choppy here so I would say if you want to play gold you either sell from uh, this um, area here this previous high uh, if the price reaches that level or you uh, try a buy from the monthly pivot so this is um, this range is still uh, valid and we should only play the edges of it because um, it is pretty choppy here in the middle where the price is right now uh, euro usd so we had uh, the nfb and a candle uh, break uh, <coughs> after that so uh, there was a strong push after the nfb release uh, this is the high of the nfb down here uh, you see it here on the chart market as nfb channel this is uh, the one hour candle for the release um, after that we've got a, a strong push higher to then enter back inside this is usually what happened on the nfp you get the spike up spike down and then the price go the, to the inside of that um, candle so uh, pretty overhyped as usual and if we look at those number actually uh, yeah it was um, it is a little bit funny actually uh, all of them uh, here green numbers because they were better than expected but if you look at it I mean what is good about 14.7 unemployment uh, <coughs> there is nothing good about it and this uh, wages now uh, the reason for that getting higher is because uh, the, the low wages uh, are uh, th the most layoff so that's why there is not much low wages and it looks like you have higher wages but actually nothing is higher just uh, more low low uh, wage uh, jobs are laying off and that's why it get a little bit weak so i don't see anything good about those numbers actually and um for the euro as far as uh, this low here is holding as support we may see that continuation now if it breaks below that we uh, may be gonna test monthly s1 again to then watch that level for possible support because uh, it's been acting as nice support previously we had this whole uh, move started from uh, this level uh, another uh, attempt here to break it failed to then push higher once again to the top of the channel so uh, if we test that level once again at around monthly s1 i think the bulls will try and defend it for one more leg to the upside we are still inside uh, this range and we uh, should keep playing that range until we have a break out of um, uh, a break out of it for a possible uh, possible continuation uh, sterling is the almost the same situation here we also have um, this range uh, we are trading uh, inside for now and we should keep playing that range um, so far now if we look on the daily time frame here you see that there was no close above uh, the high of thursday if that would be the case this would be confirmed uh, morning star formation and uh, it would be easier to say we look for a continuation to the upside but all in all this is uh, the support this is the resistance we are as i said inside that range and we could keep playing that range now on the one hour time frame we had this uh, spike to the downside with a strong push higher retest and another continuation and we see the market did another retest so if this retest hold on this neckline i'm looking uh, for a possible uh, at least uh, one more leg to the upside to test these uh, previous highs here on uh, this market so keep an eye on that any higher loads that start to happen here in this area or a little bit lower that could be used as a possible uh, continuation move um, for uh, for the upside but uh, if that fades and you get uh, a push lower you will try to take a long from monthly s1 i would say that would uh, be what i'm watching and what i'm looking for to do usd uh, jappy um still in this uh, bearish move on the daily with uh, lower lows and lower highs another break and uh, push higher again so um, actually we are in a bearish leg so uh, the question is uh, do we have now a nice bottom for uh, this reversal uh, or not uh, what i'm gonna do here because there is potential uh, continuation to the upside what i'm gonna do here is watch the 107 as the key level of uh, resistance for now so uh, my filter is uh, as far as there is no break above 107 
uh, I will look for a possible continuation to the downside. I still think 105 is the market objective here. So uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm looking for uh, first. But if uh, the market uh, would close above 107, break it and close above it, and on the retest start making a higher low, then we are uh, probably looking for 108 uh, and 108.50 uh, uh, to the upside. Okay. Uh, USD chief. So uh, last week we took uh, this trade in our trading room. It was a 2618 trade and that was based on uh, this uh, scenario. We had uh, a double top here that uh, neckline got broken uh, and the market start moving higher. Now when that happened, we drew uh, we draw a uh, Fibonacci um, retracement tool from the top of the double top and uh, we look where is the 618. It was up here at around this a neckline and this structure level so we had a limit order here stop loss above previous highs and the market uh, kept pushing against us for a good while before it start moving back down so um, i'm still in this trade looking for the um, continuation toward the first target uh, and um, i think uh, we, we we could say we are uh, probably a little bit more safe now uh, the market did test the 200 moving average on the daily uh, we've got a lower high here there was a failure to break higher uh, we have um, a break and close below Thursday's uh, close so um, I'm still having a faith in this uh, trade um, and uh, especially that we had a uh, break and close below this structure on the one hour we have a retest and I'm looking for that continuation so nothing has changed here as far as we are not breaking higher than this uh, previous high I will uh, stay in the trade and uh, looking for uh, that target USD CAD also in the inside the range. This is the range that we are trading now. Last week uh, we um, saw that the market failed to make a new high, so we have a lower high, and uh, we have at least a retest of this level. And any break below that could send us even more to the downside to maybe close this gap. So uh, I'm still looking for more downside here on this market. So we had this double top, as you see, the neckline got broken and uh, we will see how far this will push before it start correct to the upside if uh, the market um, at the open uh, do not test the low and start correcting to the upside i would start looking for a possible sell from around the monthly pivot here i think we can get a one-to-one -one trade here um, if we uh, manage to uh, take an entry from this area uh, up here depends on how far it correct uh, stop loss above uh, previous highs and uh, targeting uh, the lows down here that could give us a one-to-one -one. so depends on how deep it correct the higher the better actually any entry around uh, these areas that will give us an even sh uh, better um, uh, risk reward because our stop loss will uh, will be above uh, this previous high the most important thing where is the entry is it exactly at the monthly pivot or a bit higher if it was a bit higher that would be even better and we look for that continuation because that would give us uh, a, a much better risk to reward uh, something like this and uh, as you see we may end up uh, having 1.5 or depends on uh, how this will play now there is another scenario that you see the market uh, pushing all the way on the open uh, testing this previous low if that would be the case expect that uh, correction to start happening from this uh, previous structure uh, this would be will be a support for now until we see it broken and if that would be the case and it gets broken then we look for a retest and continuation to the downside Aussie USD still uh, pushing to the upside. We're still in a long trade here. I'm still targeting the 200 moving average and this uh, previous high on this market. So uh, on the daily, we still have higher highs and higher lows, and there is no reason there is no reason to change that higher low, higher low, higher low. And this was our last higher high, and we're looking to see if it's gonna get broken uh, here. So um, after this uh, double bottom, we've got a break to the upside. Now we have another uh, area of trouble here. It could go uh, a little bit of a sideways, start making some kind of a range here and then break to the downside like this 
if that would be the case don't worry much we still have uh, a, a bullish structure and it could uh, just be a retest of this neckline before the next continuation something like this so um, if we get a retest of this level i will uh, look for possible bullish evidence here and maybe add uh, more to uh, the long trade that been taken uh, down here at this area New Zealand USD same scenario almost uh, we still have um, higher lows and higher highs on the daily time frame we're looking for a continuation toward monthly R1 up here and this uh, previous structure gonna be an important level of um, uh, resistance as you see been tested uh, uh, as support uh, previously so we may have a trouble there so uh, same scenario here um, any rotation back down toward this level here it is a possible area for the bulls to enter once again uh, because this uh, down here is the key uh, level of support as you see here been tested uh, many times holding a support and um, a retest back down here could be a good level another area could be actually the the neckline of this uh, structure here so um, this uh, structure here if we get um, a correction back down toward that area we uh, will we will be looking to look for a possible buy from uh, this level okay so uh, yeah guys uh, that was it for the youtube version uh, of this video as usual i will keep doing the rest of the charts and uh, the um, all the indexes uh, and uh, if you really want to test uh, our trading room and see how we work uh, you have the chance to do so we still have the 14 days trial for one dollar only you can cancel whenever you want no question will be asked at all so uh, yeah guys thanks a lot see you next week bye bye